Well, and there's actually a group of ASU DACA students holding a press conference at the Supreme Court tomorrow morning just before the case is heard. And their goal is to show the court how detrimental it would be to hundreds of ASU students if in-state tuition is taken away from them. It's a question they don't want to have to ask. If this, this goes away, um, you know, what are they going to do? Eder Diaz Martinez was brought to the U.S. from Mexico at five years old and is now a senior at ASU and one of roughly 300 DACA students at the university. He says right now he pays $7,000 per semester, but if in-state tuition is taken away from Dreamers... I would pay almost $14,000 per semester. Yes, yeah, so it's almost double. Paying uh, $28,000, almost $30,000 a year, you know, is $60,000. That's, yeah, I mean, I... There's no way I would be able to afford that. In-state tuition for DACA students was granted by the Maricopa County Community College District, but is now held up in court because of Attorney General Mark Brnovich. He says Dreamers are not eligible for lower tuition because of a 2006 proposition that does not allow DACA recipients to receive public benefits. Diaz Martinez says that's a double standard when it comes to public schools because DACA students pay taxes and contribute to the public universities. You're talking about people who want to be doctors, they want to uh, go into professions, uh, STEM professions, you know, to contribute. He says the most detrimental part is how many DACA students would be forced to drop out of school due to financial constraints if their tuition doubles, a concern that's weighing on them emotionally too. At the end of the day, we, we do, you know, want to have normal lives and we want to feel like we are a normal person, a normal college student. And those DACA students will start their press conference at 8.30 tomorrow morning outside of the Arizona Supreme Court. And even though oral arguments do begin tomorrow, that decision likely won't be made for a couple of months. In the newsroom tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.